right at setup then so the first thing we said about the ball position okay if that golf ball is too far back in the stance or nearer towards your back foot you're going to be what we call d loft in the club so you only got 10 12 degrees loft on that club if it's that far back and the way you swing the club which we'll show in a second means your club comes down on quite a steep angle even a good contact the ball's not got no loft in it at all it's going to be going on the ground at best okay the other thing as well that left hand grip for me is the important. You've got to get that left hand yeah, grip moved, further over. It? You can see on the difference on that one now yes. how we can actually see now sort of the Velcro on yeah. your hand there, okay? Your grip yeah, now is covered with your job, left hand, it? much better position, okay? And again, the ball position now is more towards that left heel. So that's a much better position to start with, okay? Right. The thing is now as we see the swing as we go back, so you're making a good back swing now at the top, but from here what we do, we sort of move now. So you can oh, see at the point okay. of contact. Look from there, you're dropping down and coming down yeah. very, very steep on driving. that and driving it low. Down, exactly. Not? So at the point of contact, you're now ahead of the golf ball. Right. Now with this drive, we need to make sure we stay behind the golf ball, okay? And that's when you said you said on side, you feel that sort of chopping action, yeah? Yes. And that's just coming down and just chopping the club into the ground, right. okay? I'll give you a little drill now in a second to help us sort of stay behind the ball there, okay? But we've got to try and get some speed. Feel as though that golf club is almost swinging past you as opposed to you sort of trying to drive down on top of the golf ball. It's okay when you've got more lofted golf clubs. We can get away with it to a point, okay? But with this club, and this is why I think maybe with the loft of this club and the depth of that drive, that's a really, if you go to some of the shops, they've still got yeah. big heads, yes. just a really, really deep driver. I mean, yeah. most drivers would probably be somewhere yeah. in the region of that. That's yeah. that bottom bit as well, I think that's the biggest thing for me. Once that bottom bit, if that bottom bit was a bit flatter here, Okay, right, you'd have a, that's how most drivers look. Right. This bottom bit here now, it just makes it a little bit too deep. So, right. perhaps if you put an American golf to yeah. the boys down there and say, Look, yeah. I want a lady driver. I, I was working fine with that two years ago. I could go out on there yeah. and perhaps just muck up one. Yeah, key exactly. Lock. Yeah, yeah. And the others were great and I was getting the distance, but now I'm not. I think, I think, yeah, I'm going to. Mm. It's not you as a golf athlete. I don't, I don't think that you've suddenly <laughs> it's become. It's in there somewhere. But it's not exactly. <laughs> but I think with that sometimes, and this is what we often see the old phrase, oh, we're trying too hard. No mm -hmm. one can ever try too no. hard. But if you try to sort of get down for that golf when you start moving down yeah, here, you can see my you're driving. My body is just when you finish gone. the swing, it's okay. But that movement yeah. here now coming down yeah. on top of the ball, Look, I'm really wanting you can see that club now is coming. Yes down a very rather steep angle let the, let the, the club, club swiss through rather than let the club do the work my body's trying to do exactly. it exactly now a good practice would be if you get on the golf course when hopefully the sun comes out get the sun behind your head okay so your shadow would be somewhere there and make some golf swings and you can see where your shadow is because if your shadow starts moving this way as you start coming down you will see the movement so right. you can practice that trying to see am i moving right. laterally okay that, yeah, try and find okay. the sun somewhere. Usually around about sort of lunchtime, one o'clock. Right. Start maybe today if you're playing on the golf course, probably around about the sort of sixth or the seventh tier, around about yeah, lunchtime. Yeah, that'll be about the time I'm coming to the Fine. end. Yeah, stand mm -hmm. on the seventh tier if there's, a, if there's a quiet spot, the sixth tier yes. or whatever, and just turn around till the sun's above your head, so you're right, looking so down at your shadow, then. and then we mm -hmm. can sort of see that movement, okay? Because yeah. we need to make sure when we get to the top of that backswing now, we just unwind the body rather than drop down into it, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. But grip much better. Ball position better is giving you a chance, yes. okay? But it's getting that body movement now, yeah. not moving laterally yeah. onto the side of the golf ball. We're twisting better, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm.